Hello, everyone. I'm Grace Price, an 18-year-old citizen scientist. If you were wondering why the psychiatrist was on the panel, you're definitely wondering why I'm here. And the answer is the pressing need for someone to speak about the dire situation of teenagers' health across America. UHX has been a huge part of my mission to make not only America, but specifically Gen Z healthy again by actually being one of the first places where I was introduced to RFK Jr.'s whole campaign. He was discussing making America healthy again and specifically how he wanted to start by getting rid of all of the pesticides, fertilizers, chemical additives, preservatives, emulsifiers, artificial dyes that are within our foods along with the added sugars and even recognize things like industrial industrial seed oils. That's kind of what led to this moment of me getting to now speak at a round table in front of the Senate Investigations Committee. Prescribing lifelong use of drugs like Ozempic to teens is not the solution. Addressing the corporate capture of our government by big food conglomerates is. It was so surreal. I'm either caved up in my bedroom or I'm in a phone booth or in a library and I'm just constantly reading and trying to educate myself on all of the incredible research that's already been done in the metabolic health field, specifically on mitochondrial dysfunction and its connection to chronic illnesses. And being able to see that the room was filled to the brim with people who were just as passionate about this. Um, there was even overflow into another room that I didn't even hear about until later when they were like, oh yeah, you know, there were like a couple hundred other people down in this other room watching. I was like, that is crazy. I also couldn't help but think, wow, what a country is it to be living in where I can go and speak in front of the Senate about ways that I feel the government has failed us at the place where the government resides and actual change could be enacted because of that. When it comes to a message that has been rejected by mainstream health because it contests a lot of the claims that many of our largest health institutions have instilled within our minds, a lot of the doctors there have been ostracized by communities. The health leaders have been ostracized by communities called very awful names like racist, which doesn't even apply to things like biochemistry, but we're, we're getting so divided because of the hostile political climate right now. And it's affecting our ability to make progress within health. The support that I've received in the past couple of days from UATX has been huge. For one, never would have expected such an incredible group of students to be so supportive of my mission. I've always felt like this is something I have to take on myself. Having my friends send me photos of them watching me testifying in front of the Senate was just so incredible. And I've only known these kids for two weeks and I literally feel like I have a family here. One of the best speakers I've ever seen live is Dean Marietta. He actually gave me edits of my speech. It 100% elevated my intro and everything I was gonna say and I felt so confident. What I've learned here already has completely enhanced the way that I experienced visiting the U.S. Capitol. When I was asked to give a smaller speech to a lot of the people who work within the nutrition and health sector, I couldn't help but bring up prudence as I had learned it by definition within Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. And then on top of all of that, the Polaris ideas is just getting started with UATX. You know, the whole Polaris program where we are developing these ambitious projects is going to be massive. I don't think anything has been more impactful for me than building a network over the past year or so. That's how I ended up getting this unique opportunity because I cold DM'd Callie Means when he had maybe 15K followers is on X and I had maybe like 83 and he agreed to do a Zoom call with me and then I interned at his company and ever since then it's, I ended up going to testify in front of the Senate. And ultimately what I love about my mission is it is so bipartisan it's not even funny. Like this is a universal problem. Health affects everyone and we shouldn't make it political. This is a way to unify a divided country because if we don't unify right now, it genuinely will mean life or death for my generation.